The world before Ceresa seemed to warp and bend. She blinked hard to no avail. Could this be a fairy trick? Cheshire was losing patience with his hesitant companion. Come on, we've still got that wolf to catch. Uh, I'm getting ready. Just give me a second. As soon as she took a step inside, she felt as if the breath had frozen in her chest. All around her were sights strange and terrible, as if she had been dragged into a waking nightmare. I... I'm fine. It takes more than this to scare me. Suddenly, Ceresa's magic brace began to glow. What could it be? Revealed things Ceresa was unable to see before. Does this brace have the power to dispel illusions? On close inspection, there appeared to be distortions, as if the air itself had cracked. Equally confused, the girl and demon exchanged a glance. That wolf was just up ahead. Cheshire's indecision did not last long, but try as he might, he was unable to open the cracks any further. Try using magic to open it? Come on! We have no idea what's lurking on the other side. Cheshire gave a mocking snort at Ceresa's cowardice. I am not making excuses! All right, fine! Okay, Ceresa. Just like you practiced. Yeah. 
Once their eyes had adjusted to the brilliant light, what lay before them was a sight unlike anything either had seen before. Cheshire, I have a feeling we're not in Avalon anymore. 